Hey everyone, James Rees with TFB TV. Welcome to Mail Room number 49, the series that everyone loves, but no one watches. First, we drink. I found this truly extra. Contains alcohol, by the way, it says on here. Black raspberry, which sounds disgusting. Um, speaking of disgusting, I found this at the Texaco on the Menge, Mississippi exit on I-10 heading east. Haven't seen this anywhere but Mississippi. This says to me I'm too much of a bitch to drink beer, but I want to get super fucked up. Let's see. Mm, mm. <laughs> it's actually, this smells like Flintstones vitamins. It tastes like Flintstones vitamins. You know what it is? Um, I think truly extra black raspberry tastes like marriage, like worse than I expected, but not bad enough to quit right away. Admin bullshit. I'll try to remember to put chapter markers so you can skip by this. There's a lot of it, but a lot of it's also really interesting. There's a lot of new stuff. Okay, Iwa, Germany. We went to the SHOT Show of Europe, Iwa. I mentioned this like a hundred times in those videos, but we paid for that out of our own pockets. We are truly independent because we have you guys supporting us on Subscribestar and Utreon. Now, we still have Patreon, but our Patreon got suspended because they were pissed off about giveaways, all of it. They didn't like promo codes. And I know John Patton at the Gun Collective did like a long video a couple of years ago just basically laying out my exact complaints where it's like Patreon is gun tolerant, but they're not gun friendly. And they were like, oh man, you know, we found out you guys are giving away weapons. And I said, okay, can I give away a gift certificate to like Academy or something instead of giving away guns? They're like, no, 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 no. If you were a golf channel, I, I shit you not, this is verbatim. They're like, if you guys were like a sports channel, that would be okay. But because you're a gun channel, you're going to use it to buy weapons. One thing that really pissed me off, I'm like, can you please stop referring to them as weapons? They are firearms, which are also sporting goods. And they're like, nope, nope, nope. In our guidelines, they're weapons. So they gave us a ration of shit. They said no more giveaways from TFB TV. So we are kind of deplatforming from them. We're going to stay on there because we need the support. And some of you are, are perfectly happy. I know there are a lot of great creators. Military Arms Channel, to name one, Mr. Guns and Gear, uh, Polinar, um, a bloke on the range. I know I'm forgetting tons of them, but like I support a lot of them independently, and I still will on Patreon because they're gun tolerant, but they were kind of assholes to us. So now we're primarily on Utreon and Subscribestar. No more giveaways on Patreon. Speaking of giveaways, we give away four $100 gift certificates now only to Utreon and Subscribestar members. You are automatically entered, and because these are less than $250, it doesn't meet the whatever uh, raffle law in Louisiana. So I can give them to whoever the fuck I want. Chosen, by the way, by my new manager, Kelsey. You guys may remember Kelsey. She's been on a couple of our shotgun burndown videos. Kelsey has been in our, like, um, is the single stack compact dead video. She was on that. Kelsey's great. Welcome her to the TFB TV team. She's answering comments and messages and so on on Utreon and Subscribestar right now. Now, gun giveaways, stupid raffle rules, but I have to open this to the public. You are automatically entered, automatically, if you're at the five or the $10 level or higher on Utreon or Subscribestar, including our new $25 tier, which I'll talk about in just a second. Automatically entered, nothing you have to do. People ask me every month, like, James, do I have to enter? If you're not on Utreon or Subscribestar, I have to let you enter if you email me. Full rules are here on this little bar thing. We give away four guns from Top Gun Supply. I've known Tom and Michelle Allen now for 17 or 18 years. They're fantastic people, Top Gun Supply, one of the best operations out there, and they've been supporting us. All they do, they don't give us money. We don't want money from Tom and Michelle. They just give away the guns that we give to you guys. So there's four guns. We're giving them away to you. $25 tier. This is the first time we've done a $25 tier, mainly because I feel like I can't give you guys enough. But for now, $25 tier, we took a poll like a year ago. I said, what do you guys want? You said an exclusive $25 tier giveaway. Done. And you said one of the more popular answers was, you wanted like an exclusive Q&A video, also done. So what we're going to do to avoid the whole raffle law, we're going to give away either your choice 
a $250 gift certificate or a gun worth less than $250 wholesale from Top Gun Supply to one $25 tier member. It's only open to $25 tier members. Congratulations, $25 tier member. You, you just won. Woo, more admin bullshit. Guys, we're almost done. In about a month, believe it or not, I will be going to Beretta HQ. Not Beretta USA, Beretta Italy. And I will interview Mr. Beretta himself, the president of the company. I am not joking in the least at all right now. So I'm going to submit another questionnaire only for our supporters. I would like you guys to ask me which questions you would like me to ask Mr. Beretta personally when I meet him in Italy next month. It is an absolute honor, a privilege. I don't deserve it. Um, this is something like since I was a little kid, I would, would have never thought that I would be able to do. So I'm extremely privileged to do that. That's going to be in April. We're going to be getting there just in time for Italian Independence Day. And then we're going to spend two weeks in Italy with the Beretta folks, bringing you a lot of exclusive content. Stay tuned for that. Sorry about all the admin bullshit. I gave you the ability to skip past it, so please don't bitch about it. Man, I am feeling this truly extra Blackberry Flintstones right now. We're going to open some mail. Carl S. Milbury, Massachusetts. This is from June 2021, so this one's almost a year old. Holy shoot. These are really cool. James, for your patch wall, keep up the good work. Look at how cool this shit is. Like old school throwback, like 80s, 90s cult law enforcement patches. This is amazing. What do you think if I told the guys, like back in the 80s and 90s, that earn these patches that the checks would be, would own Colt in the year 2022. They'd probably throw up, huh? Joel R. Mayo, Florida. The name of the worst condiment in the best state. Dear James, I'm writing to say thank you for all the work you put into TFB TV. Your videos are always informative, enjoyable, and let's be honest, put the haters to shame. I'm also an FSU and Saints fan, my man. I would be interested to hear your thoughts on the state of the FSU football program. Is there an FSU football program? Have we been playing football the past couple of years? I don't think so. And any other football topics you might want to talk about, like maybe how the Saints got robbed of two Super Bowl appearances by NFL refs, 1,000. One fucking thousand percent true. Uh, off the top of my head, um, bullshit, no offensive PI call. I was there for that game in the Superdome against the stupid Vikings. And then, of course, there was the no call, uh, which was famous, infamous the no call, which my wife was there in our, we've been season tickets for like five, six years now. Uh, so she was there for that game. I was at the Christmas party, the Glock Christmas party in Deutschwagram, Austria. Um, I, it's another story for another time, but I accidentally showed 4,000 people my penis on a live stream from the uh, casino across the street from my hotel when I was in Austria. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's a long story. Thanks again. Best regards, Joel. Joel, I completely agree with you. Here's a picture of me and Jameis Winston. This is when he won the Manning Award. I got a little special invite. I had a buddy who was on the Sugar Bowl committee. He got me in. Like, I got to actually meet. It was like only like 30 people there. It was really cool. I got to hang out with Jameis, but it was really, it fucked with me because it was the first time in my life where somebody was like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, referring to me as sir when I'm talking to him. Like, Jameis, stop stealing shit. Stop getting in trouble. Stop groping Uber drivers or whatever. He's like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I was like, God, stop calling me sir. Next letter from Canada. Oops. God, dude, I'm going to get a birth defect from this black raspberry, truly. James, thanks for all the great content you and the team put out. Unfortunately, in Canada, we cannot own most of the guns on the show. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But you guys can have short barrel shotguns without like any permit, right? You're truly blessed to have the Second Amendment. My wife owns a Glock 19, although it's highly restricted. What's a highly restricted Glock 19? Is it like a regular Glock 19, but with like a bunch of warnings on it or something? I own a Tavor and a couple other guns. And that's right. You guys can get a bunch of Norinco, sweet ass Norinco stuff up there too, which were all lost in a horrific boating accident. Absolutely. Sorry for the childish writing. God bless. Mitch. Mitch. Um, dude, uh, this writing is actually legible. 
unlike most of the autists who write into TFB TV mailroom, it's not that bad. Sorry you live in Canada. Br Britain, Britain, Britain from Dayton, Ohio. True story, I've been to all 50 states except for Ohio. I'm trying to avoid it as long as possible. That's actually not true. I, I have not been to Delaware and I haven't been to New Hampshire, but this fall I'm going to both of those. I'm going to see as a fun little goof how long I can live my life without ever setting foot in the state of Ohio. How do you guys have such good football where we're talking about football? I mean, gosh, you got the, the goddamn Buckeyes and you got two NFL teams. Oh no, you son of a bitch. God, I wish I would open this on the 50th. So back when I did mailroom number one, I was so excited about it, I announced it. All right, here it is, the big moment. I got one piece of mail for this mailbox, like this P.O. box I paid $240 a year for. I got one piece of mail and some son of a bitch sent this. And I wonder if it was you. And it would be you because you're from Ohio. This is such an Ohio thing to do. Dear James, think back to the very first mailroom. Does the added sheet jog any memories? If not, go back and watch it. I was there, dude. My name is Bretain, pronounced like Bretain. <laughs> I thought you might, he says like Britain. I thought you might get a kick out of the added sheet in this letter. I did. If not, then I at least hope viewers understanding the reference did. I began watching Mailroom early last year and binged them until I was caught up. I can't believe that. I mean, this is max 50,000 views. Max. But for some reason, um, people seem to love them, I guess, and that's why I do them. Um, and I like reading this stuff, and I like doing this anyways. I don't want to get too touchy-feely here, but I'm teetering somewhere between writing a polite, sincere letter and being a sarcastic butthole. Dude, that is the line that I walk every day. Try to be a genuine, polite, and kind human being, a contributor to society, while at the same time I'm looking at you wondering if you wipe standing up or sitting down. After all, you generally call us out at the beginning of each mailroom. I didn't today. I didn't. I wouldn't even think about it. I was so worried about this truly extra. Since this is the first letter I've written, I'm going to keep it short. Two questions. Would you tell the story about how you got blackout drunk at RX in Slovenia? You teased the story in another video and mentioned it would be a good story for Mailroom. Second, I need you to first say these words again. Quote, we are going to talk about anime and video games and candy and stuff that our moms do that pisses us off. All right, that should have worked. All the adults who own an AR-15 should have left by now. Did I say that? That's pretty funny. Okay, now we can talk about your favorite subject, Star Wars. Who's your favorite character? If you have one, what's your favorite character's lightsaber design? Ugh, Star Wars characters, man, that's hard. So many, like off the top of my head, like Rorschach test. Um, this is gonna be controversial. I thought Poe Dameron was pretty effing awesome. Oscar, what's his name? Um, generally, he's a, a pretty good actor. The scene, I'm choking up. I'm choking up right now talking about it. The scene at the end of Rogue One, Darth Vader, where he is fucking lighting up that hallway full of dudes. <laughs> It moved me. I mean, of course, Han Solo, Lando Calrissian, Obi-Wan, even though the prequels were absolute dog shit, and I wish they'd remake them. I, I, I think that's a thing that they should do is remake those. Ewan McGregor did an awesome job as Obi-Wan. Grand Moff Tarkin, kind of a cool dude. I'm not gonna lie, I wish he was my grandpa. All right, now for the RX story. So what happens is Slovenians. It's a gypsy trick. You go over there. You know, I met Jiga Samo. They're my best friends in the entire world. Grega from RX and, and Grega's dad, Yvonne, who is the absolute man. So I meet all them for the first time in Slovenia. And what happens is they walk up and Jiga walks up and he's like, Jim's. You know, once you take shot with me, you have to take shot with me first time in Slovenia. And they give you this drink. It's called uh, William's Schnapps. Now, Schnapps in the United States is like pussy shit that you use as a mixer. Not very alcoholic. Like it might be 40 proof at most. Um, schnapps in Europe is like full bore, 80 proof or higher. And these people, they all make it at their houses, whatever. So you do a shot with Giga. And then Samo comes over and he's like, 
James, you know, first time in Slovenia, do shot with me, man, you know, and it's like, and he's got this goddamn schnapps again. And then you say, no, 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 hey, man, I just took one with Zhiga. And he's like, so, oh, no, no, like, it's insulting, right? You know, you, no, you have to take a shot with him. Then Grega comes up, and Greg is like, James, take a shot with me. Then Yvonne comes up, take a shot with me. And they're passing around, like, this bread, too, that you kind of eat, and then, like, I kind of black out. And then you're drinking ceviche, and they're, like, with ice and water, and you're up in the Alps, and it's summer, and it's gorgeous. Next thing you know, you're throwing up on Grega's dad's cabin floor. And by the way, Zhiga threw up too. So Zhiga, if you're watching this, I'm calling you out too, boy. I threw up and I passed out shirtless. Tim at Military Arms Channel was also there. And somebody drew TFB TV on me in permanent marker, took a picture of me shirtless, passed out face down in the bed. Some guy, I woke up so late that they had to get some guy who was like an employee of the factory who was driving like his kid's soccer team um, across Slovenia. He picks me up from this, this hunting camp, like where I passed out, and he's telling the kids to shut up because I'm so hungover, I, I can barely uh, exist. And I'm, I'm all the way reclined back in the front seat, and you know the kids have to be quiet because my head is pounding. And then as soon as I get to my hotel, and the van's still there and it hasn't like backed out, I get out and I throw up all over this garden in front of these little kids. It was a good time. Guys, this is going to be an hour-long mailroom brought to you by Truly Extra. Oh, God damn it. It's another book. From Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. From Abington. By the way, the books you guys send, when I'm done with them or if I decide to not read them, I drop them off at those little neighborhood libraries. You know, they look like uh, big bird houses and people put books in them. And it was so funny, dude. I was jogging down Magazine Street in New Orleans the other day. And I saw some dude thumbing through some of the books that you guys sent. So uh, here we go. Die Hard Christmas. I actually, sorry to let you down, my friend from Ohio. I already have this one, but that's okay because I'm going to put it in the library and somebody else will use it. Dear James, I tried to send you a package earlier this year, but the man ended up finding your growler of pecan pie ale. Pecan pie ale, I would have loved to try that, and confiscated it. Bitches also stole the patch I wanted to send you. I've enclosed another patch in the greatest storybook to go with the greatest Christmas movie ever, Die Hard. You know what? I'm going to ask Mr. Beretta about goddamn Die Hard. That's going to be awesome. I appreciate all the entertaining content you provide from TFB TV Mailroom to the top five episodes to the sexually confusing B-roll footage that makes me ask what the fuck are these straight boys doing. That is all Ryan. Ryan is the chief gooch videographer for TFB TV. From fellow unashamed Glockaholic and Die Hard fan, keep up the good work. Oh my God, this patch is awesome. Hans Gruber death scene. This is definitely a woman because the handwriting's swoopy. I mean, if you can see this J here, it looks like a U in James. James, thank you for your knowledge and experience you share with us on YouTube. Keep the content coming. We love to listen to you. Take care. Tiffany and friends, Orange County, California. I've been to Orange County, California. Uh, literally 100% babes, Tiffany. Um, in here, there better be, uh, it's the TFBTV mailroom rule. Otherwise, I'm going to have to delete uh, this, this reading here. Um, if you don't send, it really, I like mid-torso and up. Now, if you need to, and it's fine, you can omit chin and up. I need kind of this area, so it is written. I'll take it. Miley water heaters and plum with mango cart. Mango cart's actually pretty good. Uh, have a cold drink, not a cold shower. That's actually pretty clever. In uh, like this dark woodland koozie, beautiful. I could use that. This truly extra is getting warm. This is funny, Jeep parts, Ambridge, Pennsylvania. Guys, my Jeep still has the death wobble. I've got a 2019 or a 2020 Jeep, 2020. And Wrangler and I still haven't brought it in for the death wobble. God, I hope this isn't used against me in a court of law. I mean, Jeeps really are dog shit. I'm probably going to buy the new hybrid one, but they are, are truly dog shit. I miss my 4Runner, but I'm tired of paying communists for gasoline. Oh, Christ. 
It's a one-page letter in size 8 font. Hey James, I've been a big fan of TFB for years and I've been a patron for a while. I'm a member of an online DIY community. DI in case you guys don't know that, uh, don't ingest yeast. Uh, DIY gun designer community, that's weird, maybe it's like gluten-free or whatever, called Are We Cool Yet? We're a diverse gun designer community that promotes and teaches designers to push the limits of all currently available tech for the purposes of gun building and apparently don't ingest yeast. We purposely built the group around a free nonprofit design so the chase for profits doesn't hamper and limit new designers like in some other online groups. Okay, whatever you say, Karl Marx. We do our best to keep DIY, don't ingest yeast, gun design fun and cutting edge. Working with Guns for Everyone National and Rob Pincus, oh, big old Bobby Pinks, I know him. We just finished putting on the first large professional gun makers match in St. Augustine, Florida. I saw some video from that actually, like clips on Instagram. The match was specifically designed for only homemade guns to promote DIY gun hobby and to showcase how far 3D printed guns have come, showcasing the very first 3D printed 308 set me rifles running in the comp. I like having all of my digits, but that sounds awesome. Thanks to all of the AWCY volunteers, sponsors, and competitors, the match was a huge success, and we already have the next one scheduled for March 19, 2022. Okay, now that the shilling is out of the way, and by the way, guys, I, I don't mind, especially if you send letters with substance. I think we've received letters and packages in the past. It's like, oh, hey, uh, we sell, I don't know, goddamn dog vitamins or something and that's it you know they don't say and you know five percent discount 5.2 percent discount at dogvitamins.com or some shit by the way i wonder if there is a dogvitamins.com i don't know probably god people are such sucker and whatever uh shillings out of the way an artistic member of the team that goes by the name of v8 v twin designed some unique furniture for the awcy 3d printed evo scorpion we created the world's first 3d printable gun nft with it god nfts what a scam can you believe that like people paying all that money all that money for pictures of goddamn chimps or whatever jesus i wish i would have thought of that you know i'm just hating that's what i'm doing i'm hating Whoever's the lucky person to own the NFT owns the capability to print this piece of art. Yeah, so does every other asshole, right? That's how that works, right? So, a lot of us, considering your love affair with the Pen15 and how short your shorts are, we decided you were the perfect person to receive this gorgeous furniture set. It's not the cleanest set of prints since it was meant for a one-time use, ribbed for your pleasure. Handguard is set up for a 16... God damn it. I've got to buy a CZ now. Uh, handguard set up for a 16-inch Evo carbine because your wife says length matters. That's why she married me. But you don't have a 16-inch barrel Evo. You could run it on a pistol version with a can if you want. If you don't own or have access to an Evo at all, you're wrong and get one. We're too poor to afford the awesomeness that is the MP5. Yeah, try harder, pours. It's only made out of cheap PLA. I don't even know what that is. Uh, isn't that like the Palestinian... Liberation Authority or something. Christ. Keep the mag dumps under 100 rounds between cool offs to keep from melting it. Otherwise, enjoy. Patch. Sticker. 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 Holy shit. <laughs> I, I am buying a CZ tomorrow. Literally tomorrow, I am buying a scorpion. <laughs> oh my god, these are almost these are like nine to ten fake to real James Reeves balls. Oh my god, delicious! Oh my god, I'm gonna have a scorpion 15 now. Oh, can it get better? Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh my. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I cannot open another package. I mean, you know, literally and figuratively speaking, I cannot open another package tonight. This is as good as it gets. This is as good as it gets. It's only downhill from here. Uh, Mailroom number 49, that's a wrap. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I need to order a CZ Scorpion. Thanks, boys. Oh, fuck.